Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you know, I'm on a journey to pay off all my debt and have loads of savings in order to become financially independent as soon as possible. So my plan is to become financially independent by the time I'm 35. Now, that's a big goal, but I think I can do it. And if you wanna have a chat about what that plan is, or want me to make a video on that, just let me know. But essentially, in order to help me pay off that debt as quickly as possible, I've made some decisions on things to stop buying. So I wanted to share that with you because these things have saved me a lot of money and have meant that I could sort of really reduce down my spend and also just generally improve the quality of life. Like, not everything I'm going to mention, but some of these things have genuinely just made my life a little bit better anyway. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Here are the top 10 things I've stopped buying to help me get out of debt. So the first thing I'm going to say is going to be the most obvious, and I'm sure you've heard it in so many different videos if you watch videos like this generally, and I'm just going to get it out of the way as the first thing, and that's coffee. So Starbucks, Nero's, Costa, whatever. I was a coffee addict. Um, I mean, I still am, but I was buying coffee pretty much daily. So I work in an office job where I like drinking coffee, you know, at work or on my way to work or things like that. And especially during busy periods, I could have more than one a day. So say three pound a day for coffee. So three pound a day, Five days a week is £15 a week, times four weeks is £60 a month. That's a lot to spend on coffee, I'm sorry, but when I sort of did that math and really realised that I was spending so much on coffee, I just couldn't justify it anymore. So I have this beautiful coffee machine here <laughs> and I have my chilies cup and with between this and that, I don't need Starbucks. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love, you know, meeting friends for a drink in Starbucks or something like that, or once in a while just like going in and chilling in Starbucks and doing some work, but it's no longer a daily thing, it's more of a treat, so, and to be honest, now, I tend to prefer the coffee from this because you can adjust the settings and I've adjusted it to exactly how I like it, I use my Oatly Barista milk without anyone charging me more for it. And I just love it. So, you know, a coffee machine is an investment. I was lucky enough that this was a gift, but you know, even if you invest in it, think long term. If you're spending, you know, £60 a month, how quickly are you going to save that money? The second thing sort of follows on from that and is quite linked, but it's takeaway food. I don't like cooking. I just don't. Um, although I am using this whole lockdown situation that's going on right now to help teach me cooking um, and it's going quite well but that's not the point the point is I was getting takeaways like more often than I was making my own food um, and if I wasn't getting a takeaway for the dinner I'd probably buy lunch at work and that was like I was spending so much money on food every month it was just ridiculous so now for me a takeaway is a treat so now, you know, if I really want to go and buy a burrito, I'll do it, but it'll be like once a week. And then for the rest of that week, I'm not gonna let myself buy food. I will make myself make food for me. It's a really weird sentence, um, but you get the gist. The third thing that I stopped buying is jewelry. Now, I was never one to buy expensive jewelry because I lose it, but I still lose the cheap jewelry, so. <laughs> Over time, I'm still spending loads of money, or I was spending loads of money, constantly buying jewellery because I would see it, I'd think it looks pretty, and I'd buy it, and then a few weeks later I'd be like, oh, I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Basically, the only jewellery I now have is things that have been gifted to me for like birthdays or Christmas or anything like that. I'm generally not a big jewellery jewel, uh, jewelry wearer. <laughs> But, you know, I was still buying it and wasting money on it and then losing it and it's just like, it's wasting resources and money, so I just don't buy it anymore. 
The fourth thing I've stopped buying is excessive makeup. What I've done is I've stopped buying makeup I don't need because at the end of the day, I don't wear it enough. Like, I wear makeup for like every day to work, but I don't wear it when I'm working from home and I wear it on weekends only if I'm going out and things. I noticed that I was always really reusing the same products and all these other products that I had were just not being used. And it, you might sort of look online or in a store and be like, oh, I love this like lipstick or this blush looks really good or whatever. But half the stuff I just wasn't using, so I've just stopped buying it. The fifth thing I've stopped buying is eyelash extensions. So I went through a phase of always having eyelash extensions and it's just so expensive. It was like 50 or 60 pound each time and you basically have to do it every three weeks like you can't really push it for longer than that i kind of cringe at the amount of money i've spent on eyelash extensions um but i've stopped doing it now uh i will probably still do it if i go on holiday because it is so 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 convenient when you're on holiday not to have to worry about like doing your makeup and the smudging in the water and whatever else just less to think about and last longer and thing but that will be like one set <laughs> just before my holiday and that's it so the sixth thing i will no longer be buying is the latest phone on contracts now my contract comes to an end in may of this year and i've already contacted my phone provider and said i'm not going to be renewing my contract i'm not going to be upgrading my phone even though technically I can have an upgrade for the latest iPhone at the same price. I'm paying £50 a month at the moment for my contract for my iPhone 8 Plus, which pains me because you can get them for so much cheaper now. But my phone works fine, the camera's great, I don't really have issues with the phone and I just don't see the point of spending £50 a month or £40 a month or £35 a month for like the iPhones and things when this one just works fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my phone and I'm gonna to move to a SIM only contract, which I've spoken to them and based on my usage, I can pretty much get everything I need and more for about 18 pounds a month. So that's gonna save me 30 pounds a month just because I'm not gonna like upgrade when they're telling me to upgrade. like. If, if, you know, if my phone was like really, really out of date and wasn't working properly, I'd probably go for another phone contract, but I wouldn't be going for like the iPhone 10 or X or whatever the latest model will be. I will just go for one that I know is good and reliable, but at a normal sort of decent price. So the seventh thing I no longer buy is fast fashion. Now, I still have so many clothes from when I was addicted to shopping, <laughs> and I mean addicted to shopping, like I would shop every month all the time. And a lot of my debt is because of that, let's not get into it. But I noticed I was giving away so many of my clothes really quickly and sending like bags and bags of clothes away. And some of them were like, they had the tags on, like I just, I can't. <laughs> The amount of money I've wasted, so now, whenever I need new clothes, I will buy better quality ones, more sort of, thinking sort of more long term, so I don't really buy like really like out there pieces anymore because I never like the idea of wearing, of it being like really obvious that I'm wearing the same thing, whereas if I'm just buying really plain stuff, you can mix and match and you can't tell as obviously that you're wearing the same stuff. Also fast fashion is really bad for the planet, um, ethically and environmentally. You know, I didn't realize how bad cotton, for example, is on the environment. Like I'm very environmentally aware generally, but it was only recently that I found out it's like really bad for the planet. Again, not the video for this. But that combined with the amount of money I was spending, the amount of clothes I was wasting, the amount of closet space it was cluttering, it's just better not to. So I actually haven't bought new clothes for a really long time. With one exception, I bought new clothes recently because I got a new job and it was a better job and I just needed some more like office type wear for a higher position. So. 
I invested in some pieces, but they were sort of, they weren't from like ASOS and H&M, they were from better quality retailers and I'm hoping they'll last me longer. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The thumbs up really helps my channel and just helps the video get seen by more people. Number eight is any sort of bottled drinks. I just don't buy them, whether it's water, fizzy drinks, juices, anything like that. They're just so overpriced and the plastic bottles are so bad for the environment. There's just no point. I have my Chili's bottle that I top up uh, with water. I have a filter jug at home. There are so many water fountains everywhere and I take my Chili's bottle with me everywhere. The ninth thing I stopped buying is pointless decor. So I have my own flat now and it was really easy to keep buying like random stuff for the flat that I really didn't need. <laughs> so I really made a point of not buying that kind of stuff anymore and if I see something that I really like, I kind of think, is it going to add value to my life to have this? And if it's not, is there a point? Like there are so many decorations here now and I just don't need anything. Anything else that I would add or have added is just clutter and I'm going more in the direction of minimalism now and you know, if you're interested in videos about that, please let me know. I don't know whether that's something I should put on this channel or not, but I'm definitely going to be decluttering a lot of the stuff that I already have including clothes and the fast fashion and things like that but I find that when I have a lot of clutter around me my mind is cluttered and I'm trying to be the best me, the most productive me, hustle and you know get financially independent so I don't need clutter, I want my mind to be free to just be the best. And the tenth and final thing is cinema tickets. I don't know about where you live but in London cinema tickets have become so expensive and it's not just the ticket you know you go in you buy like popcorn and a drink and everything else by the time you're done you spend like 30 or 40 pounds just to watch a movie I have Netflix and Amazon Prime and YouTube <laughs> so I just don't need it like the movie's gonna come out probably on Netflix or Amazon Prime fairly soon do let me know if there are things that I haven't mentioned that you've cut out of your life and saved money and you think will help me because I always like money saving tips and do let me know as well if you're interested in the minimalism videos. That's it.